Escape the Room, also known as Room Escape or Escape Game, is a subgenre of point-and-click adventure game which requires a player to escape from imprisonment by exploiting their surroundings. The room usually consists of a locked door, objects to manipulate, and hidden clues or secret compartments. The player must use the objects to interact with other items in the room to reveal a way to escape. Escape the Room games bore out of freeware browser games created in Adobe Flash, but have since become most popular as mobile games for iOS, and Android. Some examples include Crimson Room, Viridian Room, Modas, and Droom. The popularity of these online games has led to the development of real-life escape rooms all around the world. Elements of Escape the Room games can be found in other adventure games, such as Such as Mist and Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, where a complete puzzle is solved by evaluating the elements within a single room. Games like The Room may also present virtual puzzle boxes that are solved in a similar manner to escape games, by finding out how to open the puzzle box using visual clues on the box and around the environment. Origin. The basic gameplay mechanism of having the player trapped in a single location dates back at least to John Wilson's 1988 text adventure Behind Closed Doors, in which the player is trapped inside a restroom. However, the growth of Escape the Room games is believed to be tied to the popularity of the Myst series, first released in 1993 by Cyan Worlds, which created puzzles across pre-rendered computer-generated environments, requiring players to look for clues across the landscape. The first game was a landmark title, helping to popularize the use of CD-ROM technology for computers, but as they continued to develop sequels with more ambitious landscapes, alongside several other developers spurred by Myst's success, adventure game sales flattened. Rand Miller, one of the Cyan co-founders, felt that as they tried to make open worlds for these sequels, it took away from the appeal of more close-knit puzzles with more narrative cohesiveness. Vox writer Alex Abad Santos stated that instead, the means of creating puzzles in constricted spaces worked as an antithesis to the openness that Cyan had been trying to make help to make the early Escape the Room games popular. The term originated in 2001 from the Modas game, though there are many older examples of the point and click variation, such as Noctropolis, and even earlier examples from the text adventure canon. The genre was further popularized in 2004 by the Japanese Crimson Room. Game by Tashimitsu Takagi, which has spread throughout the internet and can be seen on many gaming websites. While a single location game may not be set inside a room, and while the player's goal may not necessarily be escape, in 2002 the interactive fiction community first hosted a one room game competition, attracting six entries, all in Italian, and in 2006 Riff Connor wrote another goddamn escape the locked room game, indicating that the genre is well known in the contemporary interactive fiction hobbyist community. Structure Most Escape the Room games play from a first-person perspective, where the player must click on objects to interact with them. Most Room Escape games offer only token plots, usually a short cut scene consisting only of text to establish how the player got there, and sometimes another when the game is finished. Room escapes usually have a minimalistic interface, ambient soundtrack, and no non-player characters. These elements can enhance the gamer's sense of isolation. During gameplay the player must click on objects to either interact with them or add them to their inventory. As the player passes the mouse over the game screen, usually the mouse cursor will change shape e.g. to a hand or different kind of arrow if the item under the cursor can be used, opened, manipulated, collected, searched or if an exit followed, but some games do not provide such hints to the player. If the object cannot be collected, opened, used or manipulated, the player is usually assumed to be inspecting it. In most cases, the player will see a brief text description. The player must collect items and use them with various objects or other items in the inventory to find a way to get out of the room. Some games require the player to solve several rooms in succession. Some require significant amounts of pixel hunting, tedious searching for a small clickable area, which can frustrate players. For example, when reviewing the PSP game, Crimson Room Reverse. A collection of room escape games that were originally free online flash games, critic Brad Galloway said, 
Key items are often hidden behind other items, and the player has no way of knowing these areas exist or that it's possible to search there unless the cursor falls in a very specific location, sometimes a hot spot as small as a few pixels. Benefits Escape the Room games sit well within the sphere of problem-solving games, and it is these types of games that can provide a myriad of cognitive benefits. These may include, but are not limited to, memory improvement, enhanced mood, decreased stress levels, an IQ boost, and improved productivity and attention to detail. They have also been used in the field of mental health on Alzheimer's patients to reduce brain cell damage and strengthen brain cell connections. <laughs>